we are just cutting our loaf of bread into small pieces. I'm using the artisan brioche bread, but any bread will work for this. All right, now that we have our bread nice and finely cut, we're gonna bring in our greased crock pot and we're gonna put all of those bread pieces into our crock pot, just like so. Make sure it's nice and spread it out, rip up any pieces that feel too big. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna come in with some half and half and we are gonna add two and a half cups of half and half right into our crock pot. This is a two cup measuring cup, so we'll start with the two cups. Drizzle that right over our bread. Perfect, and then one more half cup. Beautiful. Now we're gonna add in three eggs right into our crock pot. Yummy, this is gonna be so easy and so delicious. I have here some organic maple syrup. It's best to use real maple syrup because the flavors are just so much better. And we're gonna add a half a cup of maple syrup, but I always like to add a little extra because it tastes that good. I don't know what you're making, but dang, this looks delicious. <laughs> yeah, and then we have some vanilla extract that we are going to add a teaspoon, two teaspoons of vanilla extract into our crock pot with that bread, the eggs, the heavy cream. Mm -mm -mm. Now I have here some cinnamon. This is gonna be such a great Christmas you know, dessert that's so easy. You can start cooking it, you know, before your guests come over. And then by the time it's dessert time, it will be ready and it'll be warm and delicious and just a little sticky. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and mix in all of these ingredients, get those eggs all broken apart. Make sure all of those ingredients coat your bread. Oh my goodness, this is looking delicious already. Ooh, okay. Now we're not done yet because we do wanna add some nice holiday flavors to this, but this is customizable. You can kind of, you know, make it to your liking. But for me, I have some special ingredients that are just gonna be a winner. Ooh, I'm excited to see them. Okay, now that that's nice and well mixed, we don't wanna mix it too much and break apart all of that bread, but the holiday flavors I'm gonna add are some dried cranberries. Ooh. And we're gonna sprinkle that right on top of this mixture, just they, like they so. They look like raisins. Yeah, that's kind of what dried cranberries look like. And we just need a half a cup of dried cranberries. Then I want a little crunch in this. So we are gonna add half a cup of walnuts right in there with the bread. Ooh, this is gonna be so good, you guys. All right, that is it. It looks beautiful and festive. We're gonna go ahead and get our crock pot lid and we are gonna set this one on low. All right, you guys, it has been four hours on low. We're gonna go ahead and pop this on warm and let's check it out. Oh, my goodness, our sticky bread pudding is ready. Oh, it smells amazing. It looks amazing. It smells so good. Call me crazy, but I'm gonna top it off with some caramel syrup. This is obviously optional, but it just makes it extra sticky and gooey and everything you want in a holiday dessert. Oh, it looks so good, right babe? It looks fantastic, babe, wow. Okay, time to dig in. And remember, we sprayed our crock pot, so it should just come right up. That looks incredible. Oh, mm, I impressed myself with this one, you guys. <laughs> okay, time to Give it a try. So you could do this as a breakfast. You could do it as a dessert. I'm doing it as a dessert, but I would eat this all day long. <laughs> mm, mm. 
that's really good, you guys. Mm, you have to try it.